what we have here is a fidget ring. So uh, whenever you get bored, you put it on your finger and the middle spins. So if I get it really zoomed in on the camera, you s the middle spins and the outside parts stay static. Uh, so basically, this design was based on creating the outer diameters a little bit less than the inner diameters of the outer ring. So if you slide it in, it slides very tightly. Uh, and then creating, I also had to create this uh, inner diameter bigger than the outer diameter of both rings, but the outer diameter, sorry, the inner diameter has to be less than this little extension right here so that so that the ring can't really slide out. So, so to demonstrate one more time, um, after you assemble it, you put this in the middle, put this on top, and then you spin it like so. Um, I also had different iterations of this design. So after creating this one, and this one was successful, um, I printed names onto, uh, onto the ring. So this one, for example, is made for my friend. It says uh, Bishoy G. This one also works, but it's uh, I made the diameter smaller so it would fit um, his finger. And I, I made a bunch of other ones. For example, this one says uh, Mark T. And they, these were all made in Fusion 360. Uh, but you get the idea. I found something online that I liked and I decided, can I buy it or can I make it? And I decided to make the fidget ring, which was a good decision.